in Tijuana on the U.S.-Mexican border. Staff at a center hosting migrants are trying to rig up extra accommodation. It's a common story. We have more people than our capacity allows. We are at three times the capacity, as this place can accommodate 44 people. And at the moment, we have 130, both women and children. That kind of overcrowding could be about to get a lot worse, with many of its attempted clampdowns on immigration tied up in legal proceedings or blocked in court. Washington's taking a new tack and imposing. A new bar to eligibility for asylum for an alien who enters or attempts to enter the United States across the southern border, but who did not apply for protection from persecution or torture where it was available. It's a move specifically aimed at those arriving from Central and South America, though there are those from further afield such as Africa, Cuba or Haiti. There will be exceptions, specifically for people who can demonstrate they were denied asylum while applying elsewhere en route, for victims of people trafficking, and from those who came in through countries which aren't signatories to two treaties concerning refugees and the use of torture. Recent incoming migrant numbers have been surging upwards, straining the abilities of officials to hold and care for those they detain. However, U.S. authorities are determined that most are economic migrants seeking better lives and want to slow the flow. Washington had been pushing both Guatemala and Mexico to accept migrant requests there, and even been seeking a deal with Guatemala declaring it, like Canada, a safe nation. That would allow the U.S. to expedite departures from its territory back south, though Guatemala, for its part, has held off, saying it's a question for lawmakers, and that such an accord would make it a dumping ground for migrants who can't get into the U.S. Luke Trigger.